152. Um, preheating this with the sweet potato pie in it just to get that up to temperature. It's early, but I mean, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm three degrees away from the turkey probe being triggered at 155. So I may have to readjust it again. By the way, how was your Thanksgiving? Because it should be the day after, because there's no way I'm, I, I'm already uploading a video today of the earlier morning things, and now we're just gonna show the finishing touches. Um, the cream of spinach came out really well. I haven't tried it yet, because that's my thing. I sort of like don't try until it's time to eat. And worry about it then, because um, I've got it in my warming drawer. Because I have a warming drawer, and I feel like if I don't use it, I'll never use it. So I'm gonna keep that warm in there on medium. I don't know what that medium means. Probably switch that to low. But uh, so sweet potato pie is gotta be in a real oven, not a warming drawer, 325. I just need to get it like hot enough to melt marshmallows. The turkey's getting close to possibly done. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I just made the stovetop stuffing. I made the, the entire box, followed the directions, maybe a little bit light on the water. I ended up in like a cup and a half of fucking um, actual chicken stock, uh, sodium free chicken stock. So I actually got the consistency is what I want. I want it to like stick to my spoon. That's that stuffing. Stuffing should not be dry. And I mean, stuffing can be a little bit on the drier side if you're gonna hit it up with like a ton of gravy. But I did not want that. I actually should move this into a, a thing so this can sit in. If I get this out of this pot. By the way, I've used this pot like four times today for like four different items. Completely different things I did. I blanched, I blanched spinach in it. Uh, what else did I do with this pot? I definitely washed it like three times. Just kept using the same pot. This is a one pot Thanksgiving. You just have to be willing to wash it in between. What else did I do in the pot? Don't remember now. Now I don't remember. All right, I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna smooth it out nice, nice, flat top. The sodium free chicken stock, I can taste it. Not bad though, the chicken stock definitely adds a little bit to the flavor. We're just gonna hit this up with a bit of furrow. Cause we don't want to get unmoist again in there. And don't just cover the top, push it down on the food. Stop that moisture from leaving even a, even a millimeter and then falling back down, just, just do that. So let's put you in here as well and I'm gonna put you to low. Cause I don't know if that's gonna be done when it says it's done and we're gonna take at least 20 more minutes on that. I don't, want to, I don't want to do anything bad. I've never used a warming drawer. I feel fancy. This is how my fancy life, Zeus is fancy life. My title of my um, upcoming drama. He has a warming drawer, did you know? I was thinking about, I'm, see I didn't need any breakfast either. I'm sort of running on nothing, but that's fine. It's how I usually operate. I was thinking about putting some tomatoes in the broiler there and like a little bit of cheese on it. But I got too much going on already. I don't eat salt. I'm gonna open up these beets. We have to warm up this gravy. Can I just put this entire gravy little container in the warming drawer, you think? I think it'll melt. Cajun pot pie. I should really just, you know what? I should do an entire series in this channel where I just read the, the instructions for like a weird thing on the back of all the things I have in my closet and just do one a week. Cajun pot pie. So I'd have to get olive oil, I got onion fine, one small potato, peeled and diced. Okay, I have one small potato. Large green pepper, Cajun seasoning. Everglades heat, that's gotta be Cajun seasoning. Um, and one can of diced tomatoes, one carton of turkey gravy, three cup cubed cooked turkey or chicken. Well, actually I'm gonna have that when the fucking time this is over. And then Pepperidge Farm Puff Patry Sheet, thawed. All right, moment of truth. I'm gonna put that up one degree. Now, we're not just gonna pull this out and say, oh, it's done, because you don't know if you did it right, because we're all failures. Actually, just dropped down to 54. Just picking it up. I'm not affecting the wire, it's caught in the door. All right, there we go, it's 155. Oh, hold on, pasta. Pasta, hold, please. Now we're gonna manipulate the hell out of this um, thing, and you can probably do this with a glove a little bit safer. Try pulling it out a little bit more. Temperature's dropping. 
Temperature's dropping, okay. We're hunting for the absolute center. So now we're back to 151, which is fine. Where's my pasta? So that'll probably take another 10 minutes of that, which works out fine because I wasn't ready with other things. She's farting. Audrey's apparently farting, everyone. And I'm probably gonna pop this uh, apple crumb crostata, crostata in the warming drawer, which has to go on a tray, which I have trays here. Baby, oh baby, it's so gooey on the bottom. Oh baby, it's so gooey. Yes, I don't even know what a crostata is. With almonds, I hate almonds. That would mean my sister wouldn't be able to eat it. I don't really like nuts in my desserts. Like even on brownies, like if you have crumbled like nuts, I'm like, mm, it's not my thing. So when I go upstairs to start eating, I will pop this crostata huh, into the warming drawer and just let it sit there until I remember it. I don't like how that sticks out. Is that why I was blinking? Um, I'm going to put the upper oven light on. Yeah, lower. Both oven lights. Okay. Nothing to see here. Uh, let's pop open those beets and see if they suck. This would be sucky beets. You don't know. Whoa, those are pungent beets, bruh. Yeah, fill me up. Is that onions or beets? What is that? Audrey cute. She's gonna behave. Holy fuck. It's like burning the back of my throat. Good girl, Audrey. Good girl. Oh, you know what? These are not that good. Like, I've had pickled beets. I know they're a little bit tart. But that's like... This is not tart. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, mmm. Oh. God, it tastes like bathroom cleaner. Rick's picks fat beets. Mm -mm. It's like when I tasted the brine. No, okay. I'll come back when the turkey's actually out and done. It's about to 152. Turkey's done. All right, I took it out. It got to like one. F I had the temperature set and I took it out and I probed it a couple different places in the dark meat. The lowest I found was 154, so I'm calling it done. Um, I popped open the white meat, jammed it in there. I got to 143, which is actually what I set my sous vide to when I'm cooking chicken. I took it 143, so we're good there. I'm gonna leave this covered like that. I'm leaving the oven off and it's just gonna sit there because there's no point in putting on a counter if we could just sit there. This oven is doing its own thing. Um, I will probe that. We wanna get the internal temperature of the potatoes like just hot enough. Uh, I've now got the stuffing in the warming drawer. I've got stuffing in the warming drawer, spinach in the warming drawer, and the gravy. I had that package of gravy. I put that in my two cup Pyrex and threw that in the warming drawer. I am looking to actually get the drippings from this into the gravy because there's no point in not doing that. Um, the crostata is here. How would I do that? I'm gonna have to move this to a cutting board regardless. And I think I'm gonna go I don't want to cut on my wood cutting board. I feel like turkey and, and chicken you don't do on wood. Correct me if I'm wrong. I do have this big bastard. And there goes my goo. There goes uh, butcher block conditioner. If your thing moves around, that's not bad. It hits in the corners, so it'll... Once there's a turkey on that, then I go nowhere. I got so much turkey on that bad boy. Uh, yeah, let me go extract the... So I guess I am moving it off this thing, even though I didn't want to do that. Will it warp the cutting board? It shouldn't be that hot. As hot as it could possibly be is like 200 degrees, 250 degrees. All right. I'm just, I'm just figuring out how to fold my towel because I use towels, I don't use mitts. So I could do that. So I have the gription. 
Oh, heavy bird, heavy bird. Bird's still heavy, very heavy. So now I'm moving this over to that. Can be done in one way, only one. There's no several ways of doing this. I'm gonna call this the baby butt method because I just made it up. So we're gonna take the hat off for a second. Actually, we're gonna use the hat because it doesn't, tinfoil doesn't maintain the heat. We're gonna jam a nice strong implement into the, the inside of our dead animal. Just get it up in there. You wanna to, to get it in there and you wanna push. Oh no, I'm gonna lose all the drippings. We're stuck a little bit to the, man, that skin is crispy. Oh, I lost a bunch of the drip. Fuck, fuckity fuck, fuck, fucking dick butts. Okay. Now I'm angry. I'm fucking angry. That was that. I could have been. That could have been in my body. So let's not remove the turkey yet. This is the best corner to pour off of. I'm take this heavy ass bird. I'm gonna tilt him into this. And we're gonna hope he doesn't slide off. Actually, I'm gonna give him a little jiggle and hope he moves a little bit. If you, get, if you get turkey on your um, towel, just wash your towel. Can't believe I lost that much turkey, fuck. I failed everyone this Thanksgiving. Thank God you're watching this after Thanksgiving so you don't have, you still have faith in me on the day of. It's just the day after. You're gonna all lose your faith in my Turkmanity. Ugh. Actually that's, I lost its temperature real fast. All right, so now I'm gonna clean that fucking mess up. We got plenty of dripping. There's plenty to, to, to take our actually like store-bought thing and fix it. See, else, why do you save half used paper towels? Because turkey gravy doesn't care if I will dried my hands with the paper towel. If it was a desperate situation, I would squeeze these paper towels out to absorb, to get back what I lost. One second, BB. Okay, okay. I wanna add that to the gravy now and stir it. So much is going on, so much is going on in so many places. Oh, my family's calling, to, but. Okay, motherish phone calls are done. We'll get some smoke coming out of here. I raised it to 400 because this thing was just not we're at like 125, so I should be better now. And I'm doing that because the next step is pour uh, marshmallows on that. And I broke my rule of having it only come up halfway because I want a lot of sweet potato pie. So we're gonna make a fucking mess. 136. 120, 120. I'll accept 120 as a good internal temperature. So now my problem is A, it's slightly tilted downward. B, I'm working like up here, which I can move, like that's as far out as that will go. I could bring this over, but I don't want, I don't want it hitting the door. That door is 400 degrees. So why can I never like do this manually? So I'm gonna have to be real, real careful with my, my poor methodology. And if I'm gonna do, like I'm, I'm completely off the edge here, so that's probably not good. Get back a little baby bit. Try to cover the back without any of them falling off. You know what, I'm just gonna let whatever happens, happens right now. Oh, that one fell. Please don't, it's on a cold tray. This tray is cold, I can reach in and get that. That's another reason to put the tray in now and not before. And I just thought of that. Okay. Now I have leftovers in the fridge, so I can't use all these for the leftovers in the fridge or the extras in the fridge. I'll just go in there and without touching. I need that one marshmallow. Give it to me. That's not hot. Okay. So I'll just double check your positioning. All right. This doesn't matter where it is. Let's just get it back in there. 
We are definitely gonna want the oven light on. Let's go watch that. Cause that's gonna start melting down. And it's gonna be a point where it's like, it might just flop the fucking top. We don't want that. We're gonna, we're gonna pull it out, let it sit or pull it out. And I'll use, that was an easily dispensed propane torch. That, that's exactly how I have that set up. I'm like a genius. Whew. Okay. That, um, I didn't even have to move my hand. It just, it's just, boom, it's right here. Let's. Okay. Still in the same propane tank that I've been using for like years now. So okay, we'll come back when, um, oh, when I put the warming drill back on medium, I had it on low and I stirred the gravy and it's like, what low is apparently like a hundred degrees, which is not enough to warm up the gravy. I may have to even microwave the gravy just to really give it some heat so that it breaks up. Cause it's, it's like, it's chonky. Like it's when you've congealed fat, it's like, it's chunky. But the turkey has been sitting out. Um, you know what? Let's move the turkey over. I can touch it now. It's, it's finally touchable. I'm gonna get my fingers under the bottom of the turkey to break it off of the tin foil. Ah, fuck. Rota there you go. I should have rotated it. And I spilled gravy. More gravy. More fucking potential gravy fix. Fucking son of a bitch bastard. It's fine. You sit here, buddy. Yeah, that's... I did another boo-boo. I did another boo-boo. It's like the same towel I cleared the last boo-boo with. Put that there. Okay. Mosh on the chin. Wash my hands. This is good. So we're in the last stages. It's only 2.30, 2.36. Or 14.36 if you want to read my thing because we're military time. Uh, my cousin usually lets this thing sit out all fucking day before he starts slicing it, by the way. And then he will, like it's at the table, but we don't cut at the table. Uh, we'll take it off the table. My cousin will bring it into the kitchen where he's got this prep surface. He'll spend 25, 30 minutes carving everything out beautifully. And then we'll eat. Like, you don't, you don't see grand, daddy slicing off turkey on the table. That's not how we work. We are, we are a proper Italian family. We take that fucking food away from him. I'm just going to put this in here. We still have some in that. Um, I'm going to remove this. Did it survive? Did it survive with no breaks? Oh, nope, it's greasy. I don't have any lights on. Echo, kitchen 100. Echo, kitchen 100. Might have been slightly too fast of a request previously. Um, they're starting to puff. They'll they'll soften and then start puffing up. Didn't I just have a fucking towel? Did, wasn't I just towel, Brad? Bruh, towel, bruh. So I think while we wait for that to hit its its maximum, let's take a slice into this turkey because no one's. I'm not waiting for anybody. I'm not waiting for guests. Now I reserve this knife specifically for beef. So I'm not gonna use that. I guess I'm gonna use my old standard. And we'll give it a little bit of a, um, what does Alton do? I think Alton does one, two, one, two, one, two. I think he said he does three, one side. And I think you can go down. Well, here, you're supposed to go like, I do that, because you're standing up the microscopic things. But I see a lot of chefs, they either point away, or they go I don't understand how they do the whole blade I guess like that, but I feel like I don't want to slam a knife into my personage. Right. Well, anyway, I did enough experimenting, experimentation, experimentation, that we should be golden now. I'm not going to lose this again because it's going to be on my shoulder. Let's just slice into the breast. It shouldn't get, like, it's been sitting out for a while, so we shouldn't get any, like, moisture loss. I just want to give, I want to give that fucking, that foodie shot that goes on all the forums and stuff. Uh. 
Oh, that is moist. That, look at the mo look at that sh glistening turkey breast. Oh yeah, brining is the way to go. Brining and then covering, because that's perfectly cooked. And that should be perfectly cooked. I should probably do a test of that as well. Oh, let's free the bird from its bondage. My bird's kinky as fuck. I should probably take a picture. See, I gotta take a picture before I start really demolishing the bird. I wanna get like, let's face it, Thanksgiving is an Instagram holiday. Well, my white balance is completely fucked up. It's the, it's the natural light followed by the, um, there we go, that's not bad looking. Boom, get that classic bird view, bird's eye view, and then my particular favorite way to take pictures of food is to zoom way the fuck in, like way, like way the fuck in. So you can almost feel the textures in your mouth, boom. Okay, put that down. Don't walk away with that there. Now we're gonna slice down. Uh, is that good? I, I probed this thing 15 fucking times. It better be at 155. If it isn't, we could always just re, re do everything else. I'll, I'll take a picture of it and show it to my cousin. Although he's not the boss of me. I just don't want food poisoning. I'll flip you over, bird. Here's the joint. I'm just trying to figure out how I, what side of the bone I'm on. Oh, I'm too high. There we go. Crickety crack, motherfucker. I'm losing the stuffings on the inside. There we go. I got it, buddy. Oh yeah, that actually looks perfect. Um, we need paper towels, lots of paper towels. That's the one thing about this cutting board, doesn't have the drip trays. I'm gonna do a panic one before I go into the thing because I don't want it hitting my wooden cutting board. I'm just gonna leave that there. Now we'll get out the ones we talk about because if we're gonna lose juices, then so be it. Let me take a picture of that for my, uh, my cuz. Make sure the white balance is accurate. That's another reason you make sure your white balance is accurate for, for checking for, for doneness. Um, I'll take this up here. Okay. I'm going to put some of this in my mouth now, like this, because fuck, fuck you, it's my house. Mmm. The spice on the crust. Wow. That turkey's got bite. Can't be afraid of a little bit of color on the dark meat. Like it's gonna be not white. It doesn't come out white. I'm a dark meat guy. Oh, oh my science. Wow. I'm trying to see if I taste any of the um saison. There might be a little bit in here. Oh yeah, oh this is perfect. I can't eat this now, I'm eating dinner. I'm eating dinner, all right. Just wanted to try it for you guys so I can go up to the mezzanine and eat my dinner. Mm. It's official. I can Thanksgiving as good as anyone in my family. 
Oh, don't eat the things that um, you soaked the raw turkey in. I know they're cooked inside the bird, but throw these apple cores and onion pieces away. They're not for you. Just wanted to point that out before someone pops up to your cutting board and is like, huh, delicious. Oh my God. All right. I'm shutting this off. I may as well do this for you guys since she stuck it out the entire way and went through that mukbang event. Mukbang? How does this fold? I'm trying to get this so I don't burn my... Oh, don't touch that. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Please don't slide backwards onto my hand like that because it will cut my fucking hand right open. And I you know what? I'm going to leave it on the tray. That's doing good. That's not even close to as perverted as I get. Try to be careful when you're waving this around so you don't want to cook your fucking... So that's just the perfect amount of hot. We're just going to give this... The ideal way to do this is a nice, slow, methodical movement. Careful not to get too close because it will just puff up right into the valve and stick to it and then you have a bad fire. Like that. I burned it. Alright, further away now. Well, that's probably going to be the best part. Can't wait to get my fire pit going. I got a fire pit out there or a fire pit in front and I'm going to have marshmallows. And it's gonna be fantastic, and COVID's gonna be over, and I'm gonna love my family, and it's gonna be great. Got a little bit too timid now because that caught fire. Here you go. You get like an average heat going, and then you hit it, you get in there for the actual browning of it. You get it up in there, you gotta get up in there. You gotta attack. Oh, I'm painting, I'm painting with that brown. You see some smoke move. You see smoke move. We're, 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 we're here to toast it. More on this edge. Give me more of this edge. It's puffing up. We're going in. It's expanding. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, yes. Immediately shove this back into a cabinet. No, don't do that. Leave that like. Put that where it's not like facing you or anywhere like it could fall into a sink. It's just do. So other than that, we're blemish free. So I could edit that in post. Mm. Okay. Check my warming drawer. Hold pasta's messaging me. You. And it's actually warm now. It's warm. It's a warming droid. It warmed it. I need to get this hotter than warm though. And it's so full that I know it's going to spill out because I've, I've lived here. I've, I'm, a, I'm old enough now to be wise. This is what with, this is when like, oh, you're old and wise. This is the wisdom. Because most people get older and then just keep watching Honey Boo Boo when they're retarded. So, when they're retired. Give it a minute on high. These other things, stuffing, perfect. I love warming drawers are great. Boom. My spinach. So uh, I could probably shut that off. It's got another hour. Let me shut that off. Put you here. Okay. So cream spinach. The newly uh, masticated stuffing. There's definitely an angle this way on this cutting board or this countertop. Take your pick. 
Um, this one is saturated, so we're just gonna dump that. Uh, I still have more drippings here in case the gravy needs more, or I would probably have to melt it a bit in the, on the stovetop. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's a cover. We don't need the turkey hat anymore. We, I'm gonna take out one or two more paper towels in there just because I have a feeling we're gonna fucking need it. This is garbage, this is garbage, that's fine. Magic stir utensil. Stir tensils. Stir tensil, there it is. It's a iced teaspoon. I haven't dropped any of it yet. There's definitely still chunks in here. That's damn good. It's not hot though. That should have been like hot, like burn my tongue hot. So, I guess I'll take the final pictures of this thing. We've got some decent bird shots. Oh, that's the best part right there. The little fucking nodules that are under the fucking dark meat. Ah! I'm probably gonna send my brother and let you know if they're in. Never heard them. So hard to say. Uh -huh, uh -huh. This guy apparently lives in Europe, and apparently turkeys are not a thing there, or they're not this size turkey. Like, we have bred turkeys in America. Uh, I guess I'll use my fancy plate, which is actually the plastic plates that I got when I first bought the house, and I didn't have a plate. Not for use in microwave. Oh, shit. No microwave. Mm, dishwasher safe though. I'm pretty sure I've microwaved one of these. I could be wrong though. Um, that's a slightly warm handle, but not a hot handle. So we're just gonna go. How I have such a big kitchen and no counter space? This is just like Cole NASA that I need to study my fucking entire realm here. All right, let's serve. Uh, two serving spoons. Although, honestly, this is for like families. This is more my style. Oh, yeah. I get to try this for the first time. I'm eating alone. Ha ha ha. Mmm. Not bad. I didn't have heavy cream, so I just added a little bit more milk. I probably need the heavy cream to thicken it. But it's definitely a cream spinach. And the onions need to be either cooked more or cooked or cut smaller. That's my bad. Okay. I'll take two. Stuffing. And again, this is not my, my Aunt Joanne stuffing. Her stuffing is baller tits. Well, her 90s stuffing is baller tits. Her early 2000s stuffing is baller tits. Modern stuffing is a little too safe. That needs its own... That's, you know what? That's where that comes in. That's where you come in, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh. Crack that shit. Like Krakatoa. Boom. You know what? That was perfect. I'm just going to put a dollop on top to make it look terrible. Uh, cranberry sauce is in the fridge still. Which, I'm a traditionalist in that I just have ocean spray cranberry sauce. There's no like. My uncle makes his own, and I frankly, I don't like it. It's too grainy. Like, this is like perfectly smooth and filtered. It's the shape of a can, yes, I know, but you could just melt this down if you really wanted to. Just don't add anything to it. I don't want chunks in it either. I wanna keep my magnet here. So I can take the can lids off. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Did I use you to stir gravy? Perfect. I'm gonna use you to cut this off. Now, I gotta decide strategically where to place this. If you cut it into interesting, like, little shapes, then, you know, it's not like you're using a can. 
And I'm gonna store this in the fridge because I'm gonna come back for more of that. What am I missing? Besides turkey, I know turkey is missing. Turkey and gravy. Um, I really need to cut up the turkey, don't I? Like I'm, I'm, I might be slightly too ahead of myself because I'm filming and I'm not paying attention. Okay, put that there, put that down. That's wood, I shouldn't be putting it up there. Let's, well, I could just put this fucking thing on there. There, we're done. Actually, if I cut off, cut the... We're looking for the, looking for the hinge. There it is. These are good noises. There we go. If that ain't a fucking Thanksgiving just postcard. Okay, put that little little pieces of maybe some white meat. Let's just do some white meat. Because I'm going to have to add gravy. Like, I have to add gravy to this because I spent all that time with this fucking gravy. Let's chuck some of this around here. Oh, God. Oh, just all over the fucking thing. Just fuck it. Just fuck it with the gravy. Okay. You good? There's that. I will come back and pick on this. I have my doors open. What flies are gonna get in here? That's a per this. Welcome to my Thanksgiving, my solo Thanksgiving. I have a little bit of leftovers. If anyone would like to come join me um, next year, 2021, everybody's invited. The whole cooking consortium crew is now. We're gonna put this like the best picture. Like this, is, I need. I need like the best picture. This is, looks fantastic. Remember, zoom in, cut off the edges of some of the food, get that, get the textures going. People, people will salivate when they see the textures. There's a blank plate, ignore that plate. Of course the fucking lighting is a fucking atrocious. Uh -huh. Find the good lighting and then just rotate your meal. Woo, all right everybody. I'm gonna go carry this upstairs and uh, enjoy my meal. And waifus are there. I'm leaving them behind. Chewbacca will probably meet me upstairs. And I will enjoy my Thanksgiving. I hope you enjoyed your Thanksgiving. Um, this one didn't cost me much. I mean, I, I had the can of yams. I bought the spinach at Costco. This was like 40 bucks. Eh, it's not bad. It's just a little bit of effort. And some knowledge. Oh, and the crostata. This thing. In fact, I'm going to put you... I'm going to put you in here where it's still warm. I'm gonna leave the door ajar so that I remember, because I'll fucking forget. And I'm gonna have two of these and I'm gonna be dead. Thank you all for coming. Uh, if you feel free to join, if you wanna be in the cooking consortium Telegram chat, that's $5 a month on Patreon. Um, we're, we're, we're all a happy little family there. Uh, it's grown very slowly over the years. So don't rush in. We don't want all of you. We just want the good ones. Don't, be, don't join if you're a piece of shit. Anyway, I'm done, you're done, she's done. Thank you, good night.